Hi, welcome to the first edition of Ladies in Lab Coats, an opportunity to come behind the scenes here at the Institute for Glycomics and see firsthand the amazing work that our female researchers conduct on a daily basis. Our institute boasts 40% of female membership from all walks of life, a bright and intricate tapestry of knowledge, expertise and dedication. I'm Nina Christensen, Development Manager here at the Institute for Glycomics and today we're visiting the Microbiology Lab to speak exclusively with Dr. Lucy Schill. Hi Lucy, thanks so much for your time today. Hi Nina, no problem. Welcome to my office. Um, I guess where you say we transition ideas into real results. And what an office it is. How long have you been at the Institute for? Oh, Nina, I've been here for almost 15 years now, um, not that anyone's counting, but I did my honours here in 2005 and then went on to do my PhD. Um, following that, I started working for Professor Michael Jennings, the Deputy Director of the Institute, and I've been working for him ever since, um, working on quite a range of different projects. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, I'm working on a cancer diagnostic project. Wonderful. And why did you decide that science research and essentially cancer was the career path for you? Uh, I guess as a child I was interested in science, um, sort of collecting bugs and looking down microscopes and, and so forth. Um, and then I enjoyed reading and learning as well, then just went on to study science in high school and university. Um, and then, yeah, went, went on to do research after that. In terms of, of working on cancer as a career um, direction, that, that was not my original intention. I, I was more into um, infectious diseases, uh, particularly bacterial infectious diseases. So I, I was working on a project looking at uh, bacterial toxins and, and the type of sugars that they bind to on our cells to, to allow them to cause damage. And then we sort of um, came across a bacterial toxin that binds to a particular sugar that it seems only cancer cells produce and normal cells don't produce. Mm -hmm. So in, at the moment I'm focusing on developing a, a diagnostic or an early detection test for cancer based on this, this sugar and, and the, the toxin that binds to it. What an exciting journey. So what do you find challenging about the industry and ultimately your research? Uh, I think definitely the hardest part about research is the failure. Um, there's so many failed experiments. Uh, it's it's you know, it's quite rare to actually come up with these big discoveries, but when they do, they're very meaningful and they can have um, real impact on, on people's lives. But it, we really need to find out what not to do before we find out, you know, what, what, what works. Um, so we have to go through this process. Uh, I guess you've just got to remember when something fails, you need to keep showing up the next day um, and keep pushing, asking different questions, don't give up. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's definitely the hardest part, is the failure. It's also not your typical nine to five job, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, if an experiment runs late, you need to stay here and finish it. So yeah, it's quite demanding as well, but they're probably the, the hardest parts, mm -hmm. I guess. The epitome of dedication. What do you enjoy most about your job? I, I like the problem solving aspect, there's always a problem to solve, um, it's very challenging. I also like the learning and the reading, um, yeah I've, I've worked on as I said quite a range of different projects, so vac a vaccine project and bacterial toxin and the cancer, so I'm always having to read and learn and um, look into the scientific literature to, to, to learn new things, so that, I, I enjoy that, that aspect. Um, and I understand that you've received some recent support from the glycomic circle, could you tell us about that? Yes, in 2018 I received the Glycomics Travel Award, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm very thankful for. That allowed me to travel to Italy to attend um, a conference there. So it was a conference on the bacterial toxins that I was working on, that, that family of toxins. Um, I was able to give a, an oral presentation, so that was my first oral presentation at an international conference. The data we were presenting was quite, quite novel in the field, so it has more of an impact if you can actually share your knowledge with, with other scientists in the in the field sort of face to face at a mm -hmm. conference like that so that was important and there's always the opportunity to develop collaboration so we've made some collaborations there that result in um, new experiments and, and publications and yeah it was great for my career so I, I'm very thankful for the economic circle we, I wouldn't have been able to travel um, to this conference without their support. That's fantastic. The glycomic circle is so passionate about supporting women in science and hearing how their support has helped you in your career is truly inspirational. Philanthropic support is critical to the research done here. 
and there are many ways to be involved. Nina, I, I agree with you, yes. Um, there's something uh, quite special about receiving funding from groups or individuals that have raised that money for the specific purpose, for example, to fight a specific disease such as cancer. Mm -hmm. I feel that it gives more meaning to, to receiving that funding as if we're uh, working together towards a shared goal. Mm -hmm. um, and it gives uh, scientists a bit more of a sense of, of community um, because you know we're quite isolated as, as scientists from day to day working mm -hmm. in the lab. So it's nice to be able to interact with potential donors who, who want to support our research. Mm -hmm. um, just yeah, it gives a different feeling uh, to to what you're working towards. Um, yeah, that's, that's great. I couldn't have said it better myself. And speaking of community, you don't rock a lab coat twenty four seven. So what are your interests outside fighting diseases of global impact? Um, I guess I have an interest in sort of fitness and sport. I've done various things like running and mountain biking and currently I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu um, in between work and home. <laughs> wow, it's a busy life for a lady in a lab coat. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Lucy Shul. Uh, and congratulations on your successes today. I can't wait to see what discoveries are just around the corner for you and your team. Thanks, Nina. Join me next time for another edition of Ladies in Lab Coats, just another brilliant colour in our tapestry of women in science. For more information on how you can support our research, head to griffith.edu.au forward slash glycomics. Your support means the world for today, tomorrow and for future generations.